just a plan Or have a bad man He's the one and only Slow talking, smooth talking, banana eating And Josh Welcome to the Morning Banana Show That intro song there was uh one day, I think it's an old song that I wrote. I think I was 17. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're doing the morning banana show from home today. We got uh, camera one and camera two. And uh, the good good thing about the morning banana show is you really only need a banana and a coffee to get into it. <clears throat> I do have a laptop here in case I need to fact check some things, but. Uh, we're gonna keep it. Um, we're gonna keep it pretty simple today. It's uh, the morning banana show number uh, seventy-seven. And what else can I tell you? Obviously, I'm at home right now. Don't ask me how to close these. This is an old MacBook. Not even mine. Just press that button. There we go. Look at that. See, I know how to press all the buttons. Yeah, number 77. Here we are. I'm going to eat this banana. And uh, I'm in Niagara, so let me just start off by saying I'm in Niagara. I don't know where you guys are. I have some people that watch the Morning Banana Show from the southern United States and uh, from all over the world, but uh, I don't know where you particularly are. So if you're, if you can follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter at adamjosh.com and let me know where you're at. <clears throat> so here in... Here in Niagara, where I'm located, the the repair shop that I run is considered a, a non-essential service, and uh, not that anybody's enforcing or monitoring this, but uh, if you are leaving your house unnecessarily, aka for groceries, uh, you could risk a $750 fine in Niagara, which is kind of crazy. I think a thousand dollar fine is the max. So I haven't heard of anybody getting thousand dollar fines, but I have heard of people uh, being pulled over and checked and uh, asked by police officers where you're going. I mean, it's crazy times for everybody. I'd recommend that if you're watching in, in Canada and you find yourself um, kind of quarantined, then you might want to apply for the CERB, the Canadian Emergency Relief Benefit. A thousand dollars bi-weekly or two thousand dollars a month. Two thousand dollars a month is better than nothing. So as I was saying, yeah, um, as far as the rust check repair shop that I run, it's considered kind of um, non-essential. I'm not going to disagree. I mean, I, it's not really up to me, so um, it's considered non-essential. As far as the repair the repair end of the business goes where I'm repairing at the restaurants and whatnot. Um, because it's... The, the, the way the situation is, um, it's better that I'm... It's better that I'm laid off. So I'm on EI. First time in my life I've ever been on EI before. Crazy times. Um, I'm collecting EI. Actually, I'm not collecting CERB. So I'm collecting EI. And the first time in my life I've ever actually co collected EI. And, uh, yeah. Here I am at home. And so, my story is I started working, some of you may know this, when I was 16 years old. Started working full-time at 16, 17 years old. I wound up dropping out of high school to work this full-time job. At a Volvo dealership. Um... So from 16 years old to now, turning 39 this year, I've been working full-time my entire life. And the only breaks I've ever had are when uh, I've taken a vacation. Like Desiree and I went on a cruise. That was, I think, the first real, like, real, real awesome vacation I've ever had in my life. I've traveled a bit, you know, went to Europe and whatnot. But um, outside of my vacations, I, I really... I really have been just working for 22 years straight of my life. So if somebody, you know, if 
somebody while I was working was to present to me a scenario where, hey, Adam, I'm going to give you pretty much what you're making right now to just sit at home and spend time with your family in the half a million dollar house that you just bought. Uh, I would be like, okay, where do I sign up? So forgive me if I, if I seem like, you know, I'm not, I'm not exactly panicked. Um, because I, because you, you guys know that I, I obviously read the news, I watch foreign news. Um, I consider myself a relatively informed person. I'm not going to say very informed, but relatively. So I was watching this, uh, this uh, start in Wuhan, and of course I have a friend who I hope is watching the show from uh, Wuhan, uh, who's now in America, and uh, she was telling me the reality of, of the boots on the ground there, the situation there. And so I got to kind of see it as it was creeping across the uh, world, and when it finally hit in here, it's not like it didn't catch, it didn't catch me by surprise, maybe some other people, but... Um, before anything was even locked down, we had already stocked up on groceries, and I had already made sure that I would ha have a steady income during this time. The kids are home, so here's some here's some crazy numbers I can throw out for you for the people who watch the show. Some crazy numbers. The school has said that um, they don't really expect the kids to be back this year, so in going into next year, September, they expect the kids to be back at school, right? So from now to September, that's one number I'm just throwing out you throwing at you from our school so uh what is that we're in uh, at the end of so let's just say we're in may may june july august september five months this lockdown to go on in niagara that's what the school said now some of you may know that uh the um a lot of the financial institutions are pushing and deferring people's mortgages uh you may have heard different numbers the maximum that i know personally is six months so you have the bank saying six months, so into October. You have the school saying uh, four months or, you know, come back in the, in the next year. And this year we're going to do homeschooling. And um, there's another one, another figure that I had for you. Pardon me. <clears throat> Schools. Um, there's one other one where, they, where they're saying like three months or we'll, or we'll let you go for three months. The Electra Utilities, the uh, Horizon, formerly Horizon, it's now Electra, the, the water, um, local services, nobody's uh, collecting on past due bills right now. Uh, taxes as well were pushed. Uh, if you owed taxes in um, April, they would push it to June. But in my area, by the time June comes, we're going to owe new taxes. So what I'm saying is that if you're looking for indicators of when this whole thing is going to wrap up, uh, one way to look at it would be I don't think that uh, life is going to go back to normal for a long time. Even if I said this in the Morning Banana Show when I was at the office, um, even if you, know, you could click your fingers and life will go back to normal, it, it, things don't work like that. People have to feel safe to go out and shop and go to the services. So business is not going to return to normal anytime this year. I would say just looking at the tea leaves and from, you know, my my circle, my circle of people, um, things aren't going to go back to normal anytime soon is what I'm saying. And uh, if you look at some agendas trying to be forced through, like uh, the ID 2020, the, um, the vaccines that are going to be, um, have various uh, nanotechnology in them, uh, we could talk about 5G and how people are freaking out about some people actually tearing down the 5G towers, and I mean that's just so sad, right? I mean, I f don't you feel bad for the 5G towers? I mean, I do. I I would sleep at night thinking about those 5G towers getting torn down. So sad. So some things to be thankful for are, uh, you know, I don't see any military on our streets yet. Um, if I wanted to, I could, you know, go outside and drive around. Um, and I said, like I said, as of this point, nobody's actually like enforcing. I haven't heard of anybody get a thousand dollar fine in, in Niagara in my area. Of course, some other things we can talk about is what happened on the East Coast in Nova Scotia. Apparently, a dentist uh, who had a hobby collecting uh, uniforms and uh, he, he retrofitted a uh, car to look like an RCMP inter interceptor. Apparently, a couple days ago, he went on a shooting spree and killed 20 people. Uh, we have a cottage in PEI that we go to. 
I have family and friends out on the East Coast. And uh, But all that being said, the only way I heard about this uh, recent uh, shooting and tragedy is because uh, of reading the news. Nobody actually called me. <laughs> I had somebody call me from Texas last night and ask me about it. Like, you know... Uh, I know Halifax, I know Nova Scotia, I, I know the East Coast very well, and for me to get in the car and drive there right now would be about uh, 20, 20 hours. I don't think people realize that, but Canada is a really big country, so sad scenario. Immediately, I don't know anybody involved, so Canada is that big that um, it's a terrible tragedy, and I also don't know anybody involved as of yet. So, yeah. What else can I tell you? My banana's almost done. Some fun things have come out of this. One is, um, people have been getting more creative on, on internet, on the, on the TikToks, on the Vines. I wish there was Vine. On the, uh, YouTube. People have been getting more creative. When I say TikTok, I always think of Vine because I want TikTok to be Vine, although I don't have a Vine account. I tried that for two days. Big mistake. Also, I've been getting an eye into the celebrities' lives and realizing that a lot of these celebrities are just um, attention-seeking crazy people. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I wasn't going to do a morning banana show. I was just going to kind of re-kick it off when I get back to the shop when things, a.k.a. get back to normal. But then somebody had suggested to me, who watches the Morning Banana Show, you know, what, well, you can't do it from home? I mean, yeah, I can do it from home. I was, you know, when, when things like this are happening, you have more important um, priorities than Morning Banana Shows. <clears throat> All right. Thank you for watching the Morning Banana Show. I'm not going to play any background music uh, when I'm at home because I just have a guitar. I'll play background music like this. <clears throat> Nothing else by Adam Josh. My own music. i got to play my own music because, you know, those YouTube people, they, the algorithm is still up to get me, I'm sure. This is called Nothing Else. Follow me on Twitter at AdamJosh.com. I might have a visitor... Uh, we can do call-in still to the show. If you want to be a guest on the Morning Banana Show, we can call in. I'll set up a cell phone over here or something like that. Desiree was asking me if the kids could come on the Morning Banana Show, and I'm like, let me just do one, you know, get it behind me under my belt, and go on from there. I'm in one of my uh, lower rooms in the house here. If I was a loser It helped me when I If I had shelter
Alright everybody, follow me on Twitter at AdamJustCom, blah blah blah. You know who I am. See ya.